Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome to the Codes to Infinite Prosperity. So excited to be here with you. I just wanted to pop in and have a, have a conversation with you about infinite prosperity. So for those of you that are getting to know me, my name is Louisa Havers. I'm the creator of the Helix Method. I'm a master Akashic Record consultant and teacher and success and business coach. And I help high achievers, coaches and entrepreneurs to break through their upper limits. And I train and certify coaches and healers in the Helix Method and also in the Akashic Records. So a huge welcome. Let me know where you are tuning in from. And of course, if you're catching the replay, please do hashtag replay crew. And then I can circle back and say hello to you as well. And of course, if you have any questions as we're having this conversation, then do just pop them below and uh, we can carry on having a chat in the, in the, in the comment section. I always love to, to do that and to hear your thoughts and, and views in relation to this. So talking about prosperity today, I wondered what what do you what does prosperity mean to you when you think about prosperity? For me, it means well being successful, having aligned success. So it's not around sacrificing success, sacrificing one area of my life to have success in another area. So having that aligned success, thriving in all areas, and having a lot of wealth, money, and again, that's going to mean different different things to different people. I think another great word I just absolutely love when I think of prosperity is, is flourishing. Flourishing is such a good word. So to me, I'd say prosperity is about have, having it all, having, having the wealth, the abundance, the happiness, the good health. And as everybody's soul it desires to live at their fullest self-expression and to be able to reach their ultimate potential along the journey of course things can go a little bit wonky and our subconscious can start to try and keep ourselves safe by trading with the universe does that make sense have you ever felt like you've been trading with the universe so perhaps you've been focused on breaking through the money ceiling focused on the wealth and then you've had the breakthrough, but you've sacrificed something else. Perhaps it's a relationship that you feel like you've sacrificed or your health has been sacrificed. Does that make sense? Have you ever done that where you've broken through in one area, but you've kind of balanced things out in terms of not allowing everything to get good? You've traded good enough in one area and then made it better and then uh, made felt like another area has been sacrificed. Does that make sense? And I think this is really important to talk about because as we're you know, entrepreneurs, investors, growing businesses, sustainable businesses, creating that legacy, we want to be able to have, deserve to have balance and harmony in all areas of life so that we are infinitely prosperous. Let me know if this is, is resonating with you in the in the comments and this is something that you know I do talk about all the time within all my programs we've got the helix method certification program which you may have heard me talking about recently where we have we have three ready-made programs that our clients can take straight straight off the shelf and run them with their clients you know in a one-to-one -one capacity or they can you know lead group pro programs with the frameworks that we have provided the programs that we have created for them and they cover the prosperity codes which are self-love and confidence, your health and well-being and your wealth consciousness. This is something that all people want to feel that they are living at their ultimate potential and fully self-expression and they need to focus on these three areas for it to have that ripple effect for them to have it all in life. Does that make sense? So I invite you to think about the prosperity codes for you through this lens, through these aspects. So the first one is is around your identity and having an embodied identity of the future version of yourself that you are stepping into so I talk about this a lot around holding the consciousness of your future self who's already living the reality that you are creating so the consciousness of the self-confidence and love the consciousness of the wealth of this future version of yourself the, the consciousness of the health embodying those codes around health wealth and and self-love so that you are able to create that balance and harmony in your life as you're stepping into that, that reality. And key part of this as well is you're considering these 
prosperity codes and how you are up leveling your consciousness in relation to, to to these for your next up level and and living at your fullest self-expression is thinking about this in relation to your personal boundaries so question for you do you hold space for yourself do you hold space for your business for your clients for your family members do you find yourself holding space for everybody else but yourself so how are your boundaries and where can you shore them up so that you're not energetically leaking personally but also your business isn't energetically leaking because your boundaries are wonky does that make sense and then the third thing to speak to consider this lens the the prosperity codes lens through is anywhere that you may feel and we and this is something we can all do more of um is to forgive yourself anywhere you recognize that you're perhaps holding some self-judgments some blame some shame some judgments around previous business decisions things that might not have panned quite panned out as you had thought they might and of course as entrepreneurs we're all taking risks all the time that's the nature of the of, of the game and so often we can be really hard on ourselves for decisions that we've made or we, there may also be spaces where there's an opportunity to forgive others who perhaps haven't stayed in an integrity with you so that you're not energetically leaking there as well. So that makes sense. Of course, we've, we've got the opportunity to consider forgiveness not only in our business, but in our personal lives as well. So anywhere that you're holding blame, shame, judgment, game, those are kind of programs that are running on you. They're not your, that's not who you be. If you're recognizing you're in that, uh, that triangle is that's an invitation to ask who, who do I who can I forgive? Can I forgive myself? Am I in a space where actually there's somebody else that I can forgive and to be able to do that work so you can fully let that go and be able to allow those prosperity codes to be embodied further within you so that you're vibrating out at a, at a higher frequency, which leads into taking full energetic responsibility. I talk about this a lot because this is really key. You can only truly release what you take responsibility for, including your current reality as a result of an intention, as a, this, as a result of limiting beliefs, trapped emotions. Taking responsibility for what is yours, not for what isn't yours. <laughs> you don't want over responsibility for things that other people are responsible for. But really being able to take energetic responsibility and not abdicating responsibility where if we're setting the intention to transmute some energy and we haven't taken full energetic responsibility, then we're not going to let it all go, if that makes sense. You're not going to have as, as, as big a shift. Does that make sense? So I invite you to think about, okay, so where can I require more of, my, more of myself and take fuller energetic responsibility so that I can shift my consciousness? Does that make sense? And I thought I'd share... Uh, a little uh, exercise that is a great quick exercise to do that if there is something that is, is showing up right now that you know isn't perhaps serving you and it's revealing that there's something sticking go sticky going on this is a great way to to do some inner work in terms of uncovering some beliefs that perhaps have been serving you by keeping you safe because well they're trying to keep you safe and in line with the current identity and you're thinking no <laughs> I want to go over here I want to move over here so I invite you to think about you know your health your self-love your wealth your prosperity codes and the challenge or an area of resistance that you're experiencing right now within this and then to answer these questions so you might want to write these down is what would someone who is experiencing this right now have to believe? What would someone who's doing this have to believe? What would someone who's feeling this have to believe? So the we do have. And how is this belief serving me right now? And what can I be right about if I continue to create this? And this one can feel really, really sticky. I really invite you to allow yourself to be in the inquiry with this and not to and to consider that there's blind spots that are going to try and stop you from seeing this. So that the first answer that comes to your mind, you don't take that first answer. Just allow yourself to, to, to go deeper. This is what I do with my clients is we go deep so that we don't we don't scratch the surface. We want to go deep and get to the root of what is going on in the subconscious. And then the last question I would ask is, OK, so in this current circumstance, who do I get to be? 
and what I want to change about that. And that will reveal some insights into what is going on in your subconscious around your prosperity codes and where you're being asked and invited to up level and to require more of yourself and to step in and fully embody that next level of identity so that you can be sending out congruent magnetism in relation to what you desire so that you can collapse those timelines, make it quicker, quantum leap, and to be able to live in that reality now. Why do we want to wait and make it longer before we create and receive that? Let's enable us to, because we can collapse timelines around this and really allow ourselves to enjoy the reality that we say that we desire and to experience this in this now moment. Who's up for that? Let me know in the comments if you're like, yes, I am up for that. I'm done with waiting or do you know what? I'm creating it right now and it feels really exciting and I, I know what you're talking about. I'm feeling this. I'm collapsing timelines and, um, you know, really enjoying, really enjoying the journey. Let me know in the comments where, where you're at. And, you know, of course, you know, if you'd like my help getting to where you want to be, there are a number of ways that I can support you. We have our podcast so this is for you, it's called Infinite Prosperity Podcast. So this is for you if you are driven by making a difference, you want to create a legacy and to have that continued exponential success growing from six to seven figures and beyond whilst being in alignment with your higher consciousness without adding a ton of work or feeling like you've got to do a whole bunch of stuff or having a roller coaster of results, then this is what we, the conversations that we have on the Infinite Prosperity Podcast I absolutely love it. We have some amazing guests. We can go to our podcast. We've got it on Spotify, YouTube, and on my website, which is louisahavers.com. You'll find our podcast there where I interview some amazing people. I also do solo casts from time to time and share trainings there as well. And the Infinite Prosperity podcast is all about us, you know, rising together, living in prosperity, helping others to do the same. And I'm so excited for the, the the new interviews that we've got coming up. We've started recording the podcast again. So we've got some more interviews coming soon. I can't wait to introduce those leaders and entrepreneurs and, and, and coaches to you so that we can continue to have these conversations and to expand our consciousness with our, with our conversations on the podcast. The other thing that we've got coming up um, is our Breakthrough the Money Ceiling Masterclass, where we reveal how leaders high achievers and coaches can start to master the energetics of reality creation and to break through the money ceiling be sure to get yourself registered for, for that if you haven't been to one before i highly encourage you to come and join us we do energy work together live we're actually in our 15th edition of this masterclass series we've helped thousands of people to have a breakthrough in the masterclass alone so this is a great way to get a flavor of how i work and then of course if you want to fully break through and start up level and to hold it and to be fully supported then invite you to come and check out our coaching and mentoring programs do come and join us in those just reach out to me let me know that you're interested in working together what results you're looking to create I can recommend one of our programs where that's the wealth portal where we focus on the energetics and, and breaking through and holding that up level of your money consciousness so that you can have more success and make a bigger impact in your in your business or we've got the Infinite Prosperity Collective, which is our spiritual business mastermind, where we help service providers online and coaches online grow their grow their businesses. And um, you'll receive business coaching and uh, support with your energetics and building your business in alignment with your energetic blueprint. So we help you to sell your your offers and with with ease and alignment with your with your soul and to start to make those 10K to 30K months, you know, inevitable. And then we also have our certification programs. They're starting, the live rounds are starting in March. So if you've been looking to up-level your skills, want to help your clients master the energetics and reality creation, then come and have a chat with me about the Helix Method. And if you're looking to channel divine guidance, then come and have a chat with me about the Akashic Records. And we can take it from there and I'll send over all the information so you can have a read through if it's a fit and if it is then we'll um, welcome you into the program and if it's not we wish you well and send you sending you loads and loads of love we're here to support everybody in the community and, and whenever people reach out just to speak to this for a moment I always just like to help people make an aligned decision either way 
So there's no pressure. We're just going to share the information, have a chat, and I'll make a recommendation of what feels aligned from my perspective. I don't invite everybody to work with me if it doesn't feel aligned when they're you know, sharing where they're at. And it's like, yeah, this doesn't sound like that's the right time. Let's circle back and have a chat another time um, because we want to make it, it needs to be aligned, an aligned fit for you and uh, for, for us as well, both ways. Alrighty, I'm excited to see your reflections and thoughts on what infinite prosperity means to you how you're helping yourself to be able to really up level your requirements in terms of your health, your wealth, and your self love and and confidence this, these codes, these three, this Trinity is going to be an absolute game changer for you. When you consider the, the Trinity and look at those different areas of your life in relation to your identity your consciousness, where you may need to forgive and taking that full energetic responsibility um, for for your results um, having it looking at it through this lens is going to be life-changing for you so excited to carry on the conversation with you all and I will speak to you all very soon be sure to check out our podcast and also to get registered for our next masterclass that is coming up sending you lots of love bye-bye